My Bible Friends, Book One. Joseph's New Coat. Joseph lived in a tent, a large striped tent out in the country. Jacob, his father, owned many, many sheep. Joseph's ten big brothers herded the sheep on the hills round about. Joseph and little brother Benjamin took care of the lambs that had no mothers. Joseph and Benjamin fed the lambs from little clay bowls. They put their fingers down into the warm milk and let the lambs suck their fingers. The lambs' tails wiggle-waggled up and wiggle-waggled down as they drank their milk. It was the lamb's way of saying, the milk is good, so warm and good. It was springtime. The days were sunny and warm, too warm for a coat. Joseph folded his coat neatly and put it away. He wouldn't need it until the chilly winds blew again. The sheep were too warm in their woolly coats. Bah, bah, they called. We want our coats off too. It's time to shear the sheep, said Jacob. Joseph and Benjamin brought the clipping shears. The big brothers laid the sheep down on the cool green grass. Clip, clip went the clipping shears. The sheep were as quiet as could be while they were getting their wool cut. The brothers tied the wool into bundles and put it away. The sheep looked different with their woolly coats off. The lambs didn't know their mothers. They ran here, they ran there, they cried, Pa, Pa, where's my mother? But soon the mother sheep found their lost little lamb, just as Joseph and Benjamin knew they would. During the bright summer days, the lambs grew almost as big as their mothers. Joseph grew taller and bigger. Benjamin grew bigger, too. By the time the chilly winds began to blow, the sheep had grown new wool coats. Joseph went to get his coat, but oh, 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 his coat, his warm winter coat was now far too small. Go bring me a bundle of sheep's wool, said Father Jacob. We'll make you a new coat, a coat of many colors. Joseph bought a bundle of wool. He brought the color pots. They colored the wool red, yellow, purple, and blue, orange, and green, and some they made black. They twirled the wool on smooth spinning sticks and made it into fine wool thread. Jacob twirled. Joseph twirled. Twirl, 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 twirl. Longer and longer grew the thread. Benjamin wound the wool thread onto spools. Joseph set up the weaving frame under a spreading oak tree. Up and down, up and down, Jacob wound the frame with the wool thread. Then in and out, in and out through the threads, he wove a blue stripe. In and out, in and out went the weaving shuttle. Green stripes, purple stripes, orange stripes. Day after day, Jacob worked until Joseph's coat was just the right size. Joseph tried on his new coat of many colors. It was as long like a man's. It had sleeves. It fits you, my son. It fits you, said Jacob, well pleased with their work. It's a pretty coat, said jo Benjamin. It's a fine, warm coat, said Joseph. Thank you, my father and brother, 